We are here in Cleveland, Tennessee. I just found out about this wonderful organization called Project Angel Gowns of the South. You will love this. Let me introduce you to a newfound friend. Her name is Jenny Travis. Jenny, you are the creator of a wonderful organization which you just told me about called Project Angel Gowns of the South. Of the South. Mm -hmm. So tell us about Project Angel Gowns. So I collect donated wedding dresses. And we have seamstresses that volunteer their time to deconstruct the dresses and create angel gowns that are specifically sized for babies that are born too premature to live or survive. I'm really alarmed of how many little gowns that you make for area families. Yeah, it's, it's surprising how many families go through this loss. Uh, I'm a labor and delivery nurse, so I work with patients and saw the great need for families that come in to deliver these babies that are so small, uh, preterm, not able to take their baby home. Uh, a lot of surrounding area hospitals, we really can't make enough angel gowns. Um, there's so many hospitals that are in need right now. Um, and they're so gracious and have so much gratitude that they don't have to go out and search for the burial gowns. This gives them something to keep in their memory box and something special and unique for their babies that they're losing. Are these wedding gowns that are about to be made, yeah, transformed into the little gowns? They are. These were donated um, recently and they will be deconstructed soon. The fabric's just so beautiful and soft and filled with love already to begin with, and it's neat to see it turned into something so neat for the babies to be able to wear. Sharon, you, you have some beautiful little dresses that, that are on the table, and this puts things in perspective. You know, we can talk about these beautiful little dresses all day until you, until you put one in your hand, the palm of your hand. These are tiny little dresses. One of the first things that I, I saw in, in your studio here, you have a chalkboard and it has the number of dresses that you've made, 162. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of dresses. It is, and got a lot more to go. Yeah, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, but uh, I, I do what I can. I've, I've been very fortunate to be a part of this organization that uh, cares so much about other people's uh, grief and their sorrow that they're going through. And so it's been a blessing for me to be able to do that. that God's given me the ability I've sown since I was a uh, child and uh, to be able to give back. Yeah. It takes me about two or three days to take the dress completely apart. And then it takes a couple of days uh, for me to make the dresses, the gowns, out of that one dress. You know, we have some beautiful wedding dresses, but people, people are willing to give that. Uh, you know, part of their life, they're willing to give up in order to touch somebody else. And it, to me, that's amazing. In the last couple of years, it's been more special, I guess. Uh, uh, we lost our son a couple of years ago and uh, a tragic accident and um, uh, since then I, you know I understand what it's like to lose a child uh, I had mine for 37 years these these people never got to know their child and uh, so it's very personal now and I, I grieve for them that uh, they experience this loss nobody should ever have to bury their child